All right, we're gonna be uh, switching out the fifth gear on my Saturn today. Um, this set right here, I believe, is a 605 ratio gear set from a 95 SL2 that I found in the junkyard. It was a bear to get out. For, didn't even have my uh, crowbar with me that day, so it took a little while. I pretty much got everything out of it. Uh, pulled both uh, lock nuts. Um, also got the uh, retaining pen. And also brought this with it, just in case. Um, what you're going to need, along with this fifth gear set, is to go to the GM dealership and purchase. I went ahead and got two new um, in lug nuts, or uh, whatever nuts. Um, also a um, <clears throat> transmission pan gasket, or the, the end cap gasket. That is the number for this one. And then these are the numbers for this one. So, let's get started. Now, I've already gotten this off, um, up on the, off the ground. Um, taking the side cover off. I've also drained the fluid. Hopefully you guys know how to do that by now. <clears throat> and next thing, that's my little, I want my, Okay, to remove the gears, first things first, let me find my little screwdriver. I'm gonna remove this little clip here. Just push it all the way around until it gets here. I'm actually gonna do something and just pull straight out from underneath. There's your clip. Put it down with everything else. Now, best thing to use when you're removing these is one of those electronic impacts or just a standard uh, air impact wrench. I did not have that. I've already pre-loosened these. They're going to be pretty tight for doing this with all hand tools. So go ahead and remove both bolts. All right, at least for right now, loosen them up as far as you can. There's the first one. This one done, I guess not. No, oh, there it goes. I'm in a position trying to get around this tripod and my pry bar. Okay, it's almost done. This one I can remove. Okay. This one I can remove. All right. Now, try to take everything off as an assembly. Should just be able to pop everything off here. There's your entire fifth gear assembly. And you also want to remove this too. And those gears. That sleeve. All right, now you've got everything off. I'll go ahead and put that sleeve back in. All right. Now on to installing them. Now before you install the gears, um, I think I said it earlier, make sure you clean off all the gasket, old gasket material that was usually around the holes. Um, also, if you're going to be reusing the old um, nuts, make sure you 
really clean off these threads here because um, they need to get a really good bond to this. Um, use acetone or um, any other type of cleaner that won't leave a residue or anything like that. So um, let me find a new, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to clean these off with some acetone and then I'm using brand new factory ones so it, it, just to be safe I'm going to clean them off too. Um, So you get as, try to get as much of the transmission fluid off as possible and whatever residue, whatever stuff that's left on them from um, you messing around with the gasket. And also go around the edge with some of the acetone to clean off any surface rust, maybe your fingerprints or any oil or anything that's on there, just so that gasket can get a good seal. both of them and looks like we are ready to install those new gears so let me go get those <clears throat> all right so now we're going to install the the gears there's a, an inner race that I've pre-installed along with that spacer in the back so I'll go ahead and just put those on there because it'll probably make it a little easier to get the big gear on. So, go ahead and install this. Set it up in there. Try to line everything up. Okay, there's that. And then just turn until that one lines. Oops. Until everything matches up and it should just push all the way back in. Alright, there we go. New gears are installed, mostly. Now take the original clip, line it up with both edges. Move it out just a little bit, there we go. Haha, -ha, there we go. Third time's the charm. Got it on there. Now, Make sure you've got everything on this one. Looks like everything's good. All right, now we gotta put the nuts back on. So, take those, for me at least, take the new ones. And just start them by hand. Get them all the way down to where you can't really spin them on by hand anymore. It just means the threads are, you've got all the threads accounted for, you're not cross threading it at all. Okay, now, probably gonna have to reposition this from my big, there it is. Go ahead and just snug these down for right now. started. And the thing you really want to make sure is I'm going to torque these down from what I've been reading, 111 foot pounds. Once I can, I'll move the camera out of the way so I can do that, but make sure you take care of that step or else 
you might have catastrophic failure. So let me do that and I will be right back. We are almost done. Next thing we have to do is install the gasket. So take your cover, devoid of useless old gasket. Make sure you also clean it again. Um, I haven't done that yet, so clean it with some acetone or whatnot, whatever your uh, favorite cleaner is, just to get a little bit of oil residue off of there. And now I'm not going to use any of that paste or whatever the RTV to hold the gasket on. Uh, I don't know if that's the right procedure or not. Somebody can comment and tell me if I'm wrong, right? But the next thing we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is we're going to put the screws in on the top at least, just to get us started, um, just and also to keep the gasket in place. So let me clean off some, one of the one or two of these screws here in the top. Uh, see right there on my leg. Don't want to get it all get it all dirty again once I've cleaned them all off. Okay. So. And goes like this. So I'll just stick two screws through. And we'll take the gasket and we will fold it over, make sure it fits snugly. There we go. Alright. Stick this back over. Oh, before I forget, you'll notice this right here. Make sure that is perpendicular or parallel to the ground. Basically because there is a metal block sits so right here and that's what that goes on to. That's what keeps that straight. And make sure everything's lined up correctly. Everything's good. Stick the cover back on. And get those started. Come on. And I'll make it It's somewhere over the window. Now, there probably is also a pattern to putting these on. I'm just gonna do pretty much like you do with a tire. Um, star pattern going across. So we'll just get these started. Leave it right there. You got five more bolts to put on. And I'll just start putting them in. Break these. I'm just gonna snug them. Yeah, that's good enough. Make sure that's good too. Alright, so there, so go here. Snug, come here. Then come over here. This one right here. And I believe I didn't get this one, so this will be the last one. Okay. So one more time, just make sure they're all snug. Done, here we go. That one. And there she wrote. And you're done. I hope this was helpful for you. At least for the gear part, all you have to do now is put in the fluid, 
from what it looks like the fluid of choice for a lot of people we'll back up is this stuff especially for manuals apparently heavy duty uh, trans end fluid also if it works in a big old tractor trailer it should work in a little little car um, after this go ahead and put in I believe it's 2.7 quarts um, drop it down put your put your tire back on drop it down torque everything down clean up and then take it for a test drive check for leaks hopefully this was helpful for you guys and big old disclaimer uh, I am not a mechanic. I am not certified in any type of uh, mechanical environment. Um, do this at your own risk, okay? Have a good day.